In this video, you'll see how to install the Anaconda distribution that we will use in this course. We will also install the necessary libraries. Go to anaconda.com and click Get Started. Then go to Download Anaconda Installers. In this course, we will use the Windows installer and you probably have a 64-bit computer. So click on the 64-bit installer and follow the instructions from your browser to download and install Anaconda. And you can use the default settings when you install Anaconda unless you have any uh, challenges. After installing Anaconda, you will find the Anaconda prompt. So here in the Anaconda prompt, we're going to create an environment. We do it with create, name, and we call the environment tutorials. And we're going to install libraries that we need. So we install it from Conda Forge, and we use Python 3.7. There is Python 3.8, but uh, many libraries have not been uh, upgraded to 3.8 yet. And later we will use QGIS, which is also working with Python 3.7. So we make sure that all the libraries work with version 3.7 of Python. So we install PC Raster. We install Spider, that's the IDE that we will use. We install Matplotlib which is needed for plotting, Jupyter to run Jupyter Notebooks, PyCRS, that is for uh, working with projections, NumPy for arrays, and QGIS that we will use in the last tutorial. Later you can also add libraries to your Conda environment. I will show that after installing these ones. So after typing this long command, you press enter, and it starts installing the libraries in the environment tutorials. That will take a bit. To ask you if you want to proceed, you type yes. Now you see that it's done and you can activate the environment by using the commands that are shown here on the screen. So you use conda activate tutorials. Now you see that before the prompt we first had base, which is the base anaconda environment, and we now move to tutorials, which is here in brackets. That's our new environment. If later you need to install a new library to the environment, you can just use the conda install command. And what we're going to do now is install uh, git, and it comes from the main Anaconda repository, so you can find these on the internet. And then we add the library that we want to install, and that's git. Press enter, and then it will, in the same way, install this library in this environment. So always make sure that you are already in the environment when you type this command. Also proceed here. And it's done, so we can access Git. We can use Git to download the uh, tutorials from the GitHub repository. If you go to uh, the GitHub PC Raster tutorials, then you can click here on the code, and there you can either download a zip file that has then all the files of the repository and you can uh, use it directly or you can synchronize with uh, this repository uh, that's a more professional way of doing it uh, using git simply copy this url so you can use it in git so i clicked uh, this button and then i can use it in git so you need to move to a directory where you want to work and there it will make a subdirectory with the tutorials. You do git clone and you paste that link. And now we should have here PC raster tutorials. And there you have all the tutorials ready. And to run the tutorial Go to the subfolder, and there you can use the Jupyter Notebook. 
if you just type Jupyter Notebook, it will launch the Jupyter Notebook server and it will show the index of the folder and you can simply click on the tutorial and then uh, use it. By typing spider, we can run spider, but if we still want to use this command prompt, it's better to run it in the background. We use then start slash b and then spider. You can do that for any program that you start from DOS with slash b. It will start the program, but you can still use the prompt. Now it started spider and here you can write uh, the scripts and here you can type commands. So it will use the same environment. So we can import PC raster and uh, we can uh, type Python here. And then we see the result immediately. This uses IPython, interactive Python. And we can also run code uh, here. We can load scripts, Python files. We can also type scripts here and then we can run it and it will give the result here. You can set the working directory over here. So make sure when you run the script that you're running it from the working directory where you are working. Because we started spider in the background, we can also type DOS commands here and continue working from here. Or we can uh, use Python. We can also use IPython and type the commands here. And if we want to close it, we type control D. And then we can say yes, and then we are back in the DOS prompt. So this is the IPython prompt, and this is the DOS prompt in the tutorials environment. Now everything that you have done previously in Jupyter Notebooks can also be done at the command line, uh, the Python prompt. And uh, if there are scripts, so multiple lines of code, you can also write them here in Spider and uh, run them.